up big kids here's your big review of american reunion this is the fourth movie in the american pie uh series not counting the straight to dvd like band camp and uh, naked mile and stuff and it has um this is the first movie since um uh, the american pie 2 that has all the original cast pretty much in it um yeah it is and it is a uh, yeah, well, first off, spoilers. I'm going to spoil some things. Uh, some things you might not want to know until you see the movie, especially some gags. Um, the guys that directed the Harold and Kumar movies directed this one. And basically this play takes place pretty much um, exactly like the like 12 or 13 years since uh, the original movie. So it's the reunion, and it's not even a 10-year reunion. It's like a 12-year because they're class of 99. So, yeah, it's like a... You know 12 year 13 year reun uh, reunion anyway but yeah everyone returns you know Jason Biggs is Jim and now saying Hannigan is Michelle Chris Klein is Oz Thomas E. Nicholas is Kevin and Sean William Scott is Stifler and Eddie K. Thomas is Finch and uh, Stifler's mom Jim's dad everyone returns I mean yeah, it's it's just a lot of uh, I I love the American Pie movies. I especially love the first two. I even liked Amer loved the American Wedding. Um, I love that the humor is you know has some gross out humor, but it's not too gross out. Uh, and it, I love how it just you know has a lot of heart and it's really hilarious. And and this movie really delivers that. I mean, you really have to be a fan of the first American Pie movies to really really love this movie and which i did otherwise maybe compared to uh other comedies i mean this is not like anchorman which is still one of the funniest movies of all time um or you know like jim carrey or adam sandler movies when they were like really good you know like the liar liar or like uh billy madison days but you know it's um it, it's definitely a hilarious film and like i said it has a lot of heart um, like I said, seeing all these guys now married with kids or seeing how they dealt over the last decade. Um, yeah, some people are doing better than others like Oz, you know, he's on a, he was on a dance TV, uh, TV show and he's on a sports show and, uh, his girlfriend who's played by, uh, K Katrina Bolin, who, who's on 30 Rock and she's hot in this film, but, uh, yeah, like she's a supermodel and who's been in orgies and all that stuff um oh yeah speaking of which i have to point out um this movie like a lot of american pie movies has a lot of nudity both male and female um one uh yeah especially one thing i did not expect especially after all these years to see G jason biggs why he's called biggs <laughs> if you know what i'm saying but man that was wow i did not expect that um but yeah i mean it, it just uh, a lot of good uh, a lot of a lot of good acting from the cast members. I mean, Jason Biggs really, um, he really did great in this movie. And also Stifler, Sean William Scott, really, you know, steals the show at times. You know, he's the same Stifler we remember. He's older, not really that much mature at all. <laughs> but, um, and that's what makes a great dynamic with everyone. Um, yeah, like, it, it, you even see people, uh, you haven't seen like, you know, like Jessica, like and she's revealed she's a lesbian and there's just so many people like uh seeing vicky and heather after all this time too was like oh wow and they still you know mia savari and tara reed look look still good after all these years but um oh and shannon elizabeth makes a cameo too which we haven't seen her since american pie 2 and still looks good and yeah it has a really small part but it's still very funny um but yeah like you know it was just just so many laugh out moments like what's i mean wow just like um just like uh, i don't know where to begin but there's just so many like with uh oz's girlfriend you know being on ecstasy and yeah just basically them dealing with seeing each other after all these years and how life is i mean it's really a, a good you know it's a feel good movie and it has a very 90s feel there's a lot of 90s music a lot of 90s jokes like how they try to make a joke it's like oh sorry our car broke down can we use your phone it's like you guys don't have cell phones <laughs> which is hilarious because it's true it's like who doesn't have a cell phone anymore and who needs to use someone else's phone but i mean unless the court they could have said the phone is dead or whatever but like with three guys and yeah, that's very far-fetched oh yeah shermanator makes appearance here i i love that um but yeah i mean it's just so freaking hilarious uh this film 
And oh yeah, Stifler's mom and Jim's dad, their interaction. Jim's dad also steals the show. He's always hilarious. I mean, I, basically if you're looking for something that makes you laugh and just makes you feel good, and especially for people like me that grew up on these movies and want to have a nostalgia factor, this, this definitely delivers. I wouldn't say, I still say that like the first two were still the best, but this is nearer that and it's still... If you're looking for a really enjoyable R-rated comedy that has some uh, laugh out, gross out moments, but has a lot of heart, then this movie definitely delivers. That's why I give American Reunion a four and a half out of five. It get, definitely gets almost uh, two rock ons for me. So uh, yeah, definitely go see American Reunion. Uh, thank God it's not one of those movies you need to see in 3D or IMAX 3D. So just see it. Um, you guys will definitely enjoy it. I definitely will buy this when it comes out uh, on Blu-ray and DVD. And remember, check out BKBN.net for more geek news, reviews, and more. I'm Sean Long. Remember, celebrate your name in a big way. Go to BKBN.net. Go to BKBN.net. Go to BKBN.net. I tell you, go. Go down.